Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We just, a couple hours ago, got road to the final upgrade, so I wanna talk about that, talk about the content that happened yesterday, all the market movements, and maybe uh, UCL and Europa League Man of the Match cards coming today on Saturday because they did not drop yet tonight. So I wanna talk about that stuff and look at some of the market movements we have seen and we did see yesterday with no promo but a little bit of content, right? We do have all prime icons are in foot draft right now. And supposedly from the screenshots that I've seen, foot draft is absolutely um, incredible in terms of just the insane squads that you will be getting, which is about freaking time because foot draft really has been pretty dead this year from what it seems. And um, there's been a lot of people complaining about how that uh, the, how the squads and foot draft were just really, really bad. So we did get that content today as well as this draft token pack, which is really easy to do. So if you don't wanna have to pay 15K for this, you can go get this draft token for, I think it's like 4K or maybe you just do it from stuff that's in your club. That's not too bad. Again, that's the new party bag SBC, which caused market movements yesterday. Uh, and we had the Rabio SBC coming in at 300,000 coins. A lot of people, I think, if they're doing this SBC, they're doing it for the links that this card provides, right? And he provides just as good a links as kind of for a hybrid squad builder with the French, you know, links to like Mendy, Varane, Conte, um, and, you know, maybe an Mbappe, uh, but also the green links to like Ronaldo, to Kulusevski, to Quadrado and Dybala, who are very popular cards in this game as well. So let's talk about the upgrades that just happened a couple hours ago. Rudiger got his plus two going to an 88 rated card. Uh, Two Chelsea cards recently coming out. Chelsea's finally getting some love for special items before, or before this, they were kind of getting screwed out of it. So Chelsea fans are happy with that. Um, but these are the upgrades we did see, right? Varane going to a 90, Felipe Anderson going up as an SBC card, Akanji Salah. Pogba, I think, might have been one of the only ones to get a plus two pace boost up to 78 pace. Uh, Wijnaldum has gone up in price a decent amount since the upgrade because his card looks really, really good now with uh, Hullet Gang stats all around. Gabriel Jesus finally got his 90 pace. Uh, Bruno Perez looks even better uh, than before. And, of course, you have some more upgrades down here. Draxler looks pretty solid, of course. Doesn't look feel that good in game, but a lot of these cards did get upgraded. Now, not a lot of them have really moved in price yet. Uh, Salah is up a little bit. Pogba's up. Pogba and Wijnaldum, I think, have had the biggest rises up in price because Pogba was like 670, 660K, a couple undercuts at 650 before upgrades. He's now 700. Wijnaldum was like 460, 470. He's now 515. So I do think that some of these cards will rise a little bit more into the daytime today on Saturday because I feel like there might be some people who wake up uh, in the morning or they're playing some foot champs and like, hey, yo, I wanna try out one of these new upgraded cards. Before when we had some of these upgrades, I feel like there's a lot of overinvestment and I don't really think that there's too much overinvestment this time. Now, of course, Wijnaldum just got bought up about 40,000 coins from 480 to 520. And I'm wondering maybe if that was investing a little bit. Uh, but also this card looks really, really good now. I think this one after the upgrades looks the best. High, high work rates, four star, four star, 88 agility, 92 balance, 99 stamina. Um, he's got the flare trade as well. I mean, all around, this card looks really, really good. He looks pretty awesome. And uh, low key, a lot of people might want to go and try him out today. So that's why you might see his price rise a little bit more. I think Bruno Perez, if anybody else, would be the other card today that might keep rising a little bit uh, after his upgrade. Of course, Bruno Perez going to an 87 rated card. And in my opinion right now, is looking like the best right back in the Serie A. Now, of course, you have Quadrado, which actually is very interesting uh, that this guy, I think people are selling Quadrado right now to actually pick this guy up and to try him out because this man of the match Quadrado card was around 320, 330,000 coins. And he has dropped down to 309s in the past about hour or so since that Bruno Perez got upgraded. So it's looking like some people might be selling their Quadrados to go try that Bruno Perez. So we might see a more of a rise on Bruno Perez, maybe like to 290 or 300K on PlayStation in the morning. But just kind of keep an eye on some of these cards. Akanji might be another card that people might go and try out um, because he did get an upgrade as well. He was like 480K earlier today, and now he's up to 510. And of course, these guys get rare in the morning, just like with brand new promo cards when they come out, people wake up the next morning and they want to go and try those. So 
These cards are pretty rare on the market. Road to the Finals are some of the most rare cards on this game. So if people wake up in the morning and want to try some of these guys out, you might see some of their prices continue to rise. I don't expect big rises, but maybe a few of them could go up a little bit more. Now, of course, what happened yesterday and Friday with the market was a lot of people sold cards to go and do the SBC party bag SBC right now we had a lot of fluctuations and a lot of drops you can see a lot of special cards on my transfer list here this tap sobo is down to like 560,000 coins he's actually a little bit low again right now um, I wonder if this is a little bit of selling with a kanji getting upgraded people may be selling their tap sobas to go try out the new upgraded kanji but I bought some Teo Hernandez today at about 270k he bounced back to 300k which is very very nice I bought a body at like to 70 he's up into the mid 70s right now as well you know odegaard was down to like 460 for a moment um depai was down at 200k again you can see this akaji was 475 earlier tonight now over 500k so you did see a lot of panic selling and a lot of drops on the out of packs special market another card that did really well today was this diada now he was helped a little bit because right now monaco won four nil yesterday so this card is one goal away monaco is one goal away from this diada card upgrading and getting uh his his upgrade for a what if so a, a plus two for the what if card and this guy has a lot of hype i'm really curious to see what happens with this card if and when he does get upgraded to an 87 he, he's obviously probably going to go to 99 pace and close to 90 dribbling 80 physical 88 shooting this card's going to be insane people say he's actually cracked um, and of course he was down at 170 K today and, uh, I was not expecting them to score four goals. So I didn't list it at 190 and boom, those sold sold pretty quickly, but, uh, this guy's a lot of hype. So just keep an eye on him as of course, Monaco are very, very close to the next upgrade. And this guy could be going to an 87. So keep an eye on that one. There's extra hype with that card today. We had a Sancho play the month SBC as well. Just to check that out really fast. The upgrade in this one, I think, it just does not look very good at all compared to his what if, uh, his what if upgraded card, 92 rated. So it is a position change left mid, not the worst card ever in terms of what is out there. But um, yeah, that was an SBC that we got today as well. Now I want to talk about what happened with informs because informs are absolutely through the roof. And if you have bought informs in the past two, three weeks at all, look at this. 75 rated informs are 28, 29,000 coins. Basically, all informs are 30K, even if they're low rated. So if you have any informs in your club that are like below 80 rated that are tradable, now is a 100% insanely good time to go and get them out because you could buy all of these informs earlier this year or even like last week. If you take a look at some of the team of the weeks, uh, you could have you could have bought some of these guys for literally discard or close to it, and now you're selling them for insane. Look at these extinct for, on top. 54k for Romarino. Campbell is extinct. What are these guys extinct at? Like 40,000 coins. 42,000 coins. This tile was extinct, and he was in the first second day in packs. He was 17 to 18,000 coins. So again, EA requiring two informs in this party bag SBC, people go bananas for these SBCs, right? Uh, and of course you saw that happen today. So if you have any tradable informs in your club, there's never been a better time to sell some of those right now because they are extremely, extremely expensive. Now that's on for the lower tier cards. Now, if you have a higher tier inform that's maybe like an 85 or an 86, those are up too. But I mean, at this point, those are probably only going to go higher as we have more icon SBCs coming out, possibly more player of the months coming in the next month or so. And as we just continue to see informs go up now, again, today also could be a day where EA where I feel like we're waiting for this because this has not happened yet this year. I think maybe one time they've dropped a team of the week upgrade SBC um, and I've been talking about this for multiple times now. I think EA is going to drop a upgrade SBC for Team of the Week cards soon. So that would be my only thing that would scare me a little bit uh, is if you are holding on to informs for them to go higher and EA drops a tradable or an untradable, especially if there's a tradable Team of the Week upgrade SBC, uh, that's going to put some supply on informs on the market and that would drop a lot of those cards because again, just like how fodder got very high and then EA ran two for one packs, informs are getting very high too so i could see them trying to some way bring those down um you know in the next couple weeks or so however they're going to do that but 
again, today or yesterday, since we did not see anything related to foot birthday, we are again thinking that that promo, unless EA drops something crazy on us, that that promo is going to come next week, which doesn't make sense again, because of course, uh, EA's actual birthday FIFA Ultimate Team was first released last year, or sorry, yesterday, 12 years ago. So yesterday was the date for that, and they did not do anything about it. What? Well, um, what they did do was make some more issues on this market because, again, there's a little bit more EA scandal to talk about just really quick today. I'm, I'm tired of being negative with this stuff, but EA literally just keep messing up, so we have to talk about it, right? Uh, so today they were drop, they were having drops for this uh, FIFA face-off event that was live on Twitch. Um, and what they did was they set it up as a drop, as a viewership reward. And the text that they had in the fine print said that it was going to be available to everybody. So it looked like for a short amount of time that everybody who watched this stream was going to be able to get a 50k pack and a team of the year player. And everybody was like, excuse me, what's up with this? So you started watching the stream and then EA quickly turned it off. And they said, today there was some confusion and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's obviously, again, another thing where they messed up and made a promise. And now they're pulling back. And uh, even though they messed up and they said, hey, we're going to do this for you. Now they're pulling back. No, we can't do that. We can't do that, right? Because obviously giving everyone that watched that stream, there were like 70,000 viewers in that stream, giving everybody a team of the year card. Yeah, they could not do that. So, um, well, they guess they could if they really wanted to. Since they messed it up, maybe they promised that to us, so they should, but knowing EA, they won't. That's just something that they always don't do. So um, that was kind of a mess up that they had today. And of course, how are they even giving those out? Because I'm pretty sure they just said last week that they stopped all content granting, which would be how they would have to award those items. So again, a little bit more, you know, mess up from EA Sports today. Um, now this card has dropped off a lot, this Morales card, because uh, Levante did not score, or they only scored one goal today. So uh, of course, he is getting, you know, not many games left for this guy to score and for Levante to score goals for him to get his upgrade. So that is making his card drop. Now let's talk about today, right? Today is Saturday. What could be happening, right? What could we see today on Saturday in FIFA? Now, of course, Prime Icons are in draft. We've got Weekend League Plus player picks going on right now, so people are grinding the Weekend League for that. Um, and we are one week away from a new season. A new season next Friday, the 26th, is the new season. New Icon Swap objectives will come out, so this is the last week we had to grind those. Um, now, I'm just kind of saying that because... I think there's going to be a promo next Friday. There like has to be one, but it's going to be a crazy, crazy Friday in terms of what actually is going to be coming out. If foot birthday actually comes then too. Uh, we've obviously got the EMLS cup that's going on this weekend um, with that bracket right there, which is cool. They're adding something in here about that, which is pretty dope. But today I do think we will see special cards back in packs because I do think they are going to drop just like they did Last time for UCL and UEL marquee matchups, they dropped, or not marquee matchups. I always I always confuse marquee matchups and man of the matches, all right? I got to start saying man of the match in my sleep or something. I don't know. Anyways, but man of the match, uh, they dropped last time on a Saturday at the content drop. So I think that's my, that might be what happens again today. Of course, there's a bunch of potential man of the match cards we could have. Don't remind me about Orsic, right, as a Spurs fan. Or such is probably getting another uh, special card, another man of the match for his performance against Spurs, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, I'm really not expecting too much unless EA have a late surprise for us. Um, I'm really not expecting too much today on Saturday. Maybe some sort of like um, SBC, maybe not for a player. Maybe they drop more icons again. If we just say they're going to drop more icons, then someday we're going to be right, right? But we were kind of expecting that yesterday, and it didn't happen. But honestly, a lot of what you're going to see is SBC fodder continue to go up. Um, maybe they'll release the squad foundation for the MLS, um, and maybe they'll re-release some of the, S the uh, league SBCs that have gone away. The Conmebol one has come back, but uh, some of the other ones have not. So yeah, boys. I mean, honestly, today on Saturday, it's probably not going to be that crazy of a day. Um, I do expect those man of the matches, though, which that'll be something to look forward to. And uh, we'll see. I'm really thinking that there might be a decent weekend league sell-off this weekend because now that foot birthday wasn't yesterday and it's not right now, obviously people are going to be looking towards next weekend and thinking, hey, it's got to be coming next weekend. So there might be a bit more sell-off this weekend since we kind of have it narrowed down and say, hey, foot birthday probably is coming in the next week. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out on. And of course, 
um, people will be grinding the weekend league for those extra player picks. Now, one thing I do want to mention is uh, I am doing a charity live stream today on Saturday, so you might be getting done watching this video. Head down below in the description, take a look at my twitch.tv link. I'll be live streaming on Twitch for charity, Gamers Outreach, a part of the Gamers for Giving 2021 weekend streaming marathon. It's going to be awesome. So hopefully you can come by and check that out as well because uh, that'd be really freaking awesome. Awesome. But again, we finally got some more road to the final upgrades after EA delayed them for a week for the games that happened two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we got some of those upgrades. We're seeing some movements on the market. I'm probably going to get all out of all this stuff tonight into tomorrow, be fully liquid rolling into Saturday and uh, maybe trying to trade some icons and seeing what comes out with a new man of the match cards and whatever else content comes out today on Saturday. But that's the video for today, boys, right? Road to the final upgrades, maybe man of the matches coming today. And of course, uh, plenty of market movements with informs being crazy high and um, maybe hopefully some more icon SBCs from EA because I think we would like a little bit of something to kind of keep us going because this game is feeling a little bit more dead and quiet and not very many people are interested right now. But I appreciate you guys for the support on the channel for you guys watching the videos. You guys are incredible even though this game is in the mud. Um, I appreciate you guys and all your support and, and watching the videos and liking and comment and everything else. So again, if you did like this one, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.